Hey guys, so I had to rush this video out once I heard about the latest Mopar news. There have been 426 Hemi rumors for ages, but it looks like this engine may be confirmed after all. So let's get into it. And also just wanted to say that my voice may sound a little bit weird because I'm sick right now. So on October 24th, 2018, which was yesterday, Mopar put out a teaser video on their channel with the title, Something Big Is Coming. The description reads, on October 30th, 2018, all will be revealed. Be sure to check CrateHemi.com for more details on our next Game Changer. And October 30th is Mopar's scheduled time for their SEMA show press conference. The upcoming 2018 SEMA show takes place from October 30th to November 2nd at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and based on their website, they are the, quote, premier automotive specialty products trade event in the world, end quote. There are educational seminars, product demonstrations, special events, and more. And this show is a trade-only event, so it's not open to the general public. While this video did not give us any concrete details, it did give us lots of clues. I'll post a link to the video in the description so you can check it out for yourself. And here's a sneak peek of the video. So what did we just watch? Well from what I see, first there are some cat paws, which seem to resemble something to do with a Hellcat. Then those are stomped on by what looks like elephant prints, and finally there is an older second generation Dodge Charger, doing what sounds to me like a burnout. This leads us to believe that the 426 Hemi is making its return. To go back in time a little bit, the 426 was the first engine that was officially designated a Hemi, a name that Chrysler trademarked. As the name suggests, the displacement was 426 cubic inches, or around 7 liters. This engine was around from 1964 to 1971 in various Mopars and was nicknamed the Elephant Engine due to the fact that the engine had a lot of power, weighed a lot, and had large physical dimensions. So jumping back to the video, the cat paws could suggest something Hellcat related, but the Elephant tracks definitely hint us back to the Elephant Engine or the 426 Hemi, especially with the older Dodge Charger in the video. I also didn't hear any whine, so I would think that that's a naturally aspirated engine and not supercharged, but I'm just guessing there. Another huge clue is that on the official 2018 SEMA show press conference schedule, if we look at Tuesday, October 30th, the scheduled time for Mopar is 4.26 p.m. Now the video description did say to check out CrateHemi.com for details on the next game changer. So the 426 Hemi could be released as a Crate Hemi engine available for purchase like the 5764 and Supercharged 62. So we might not be seeing it actually in a vehicle application or release, but it could be returning as a Crate engine. So I guess we'll find that out on October 30th. And lastly I just want to talk about a few more things related to the 426. There is currently the 2016 Dodge Challenger Mopar Drag Pack that's available for purchase but it's offered only through Mopar Performance Outlets and it's intended for sanctioned drag racing on closed courses or sportsman racing. These come with the choice of a Whipple Supercharged 354 Hemi with a cost of $109,000 or the naturally aspirated 426 Hemi at a price of around $99,000. These were basically built off of a 2015 SRT Challenger with a white body, vintage striping, 426 Hemi badging, SRT front and rear fascias, rear spoiler, full roll cage, lightweight racing seats, safety nets, and a five-point harness. For serious sportsman racers, this is a 100% track-ready car that conforms to both NHRA and IHRA Superstock rules. This to me shows that the 426 has been alive and well, and already is being used in Mopar applications. Another Mopar application would be the rumored Ram Rebel TR. Everyone is talking about the Hellcat Ram Rebel, which is projected to have a release near 2022 and have the Hellcat engine. There's also speculation about the Ram Rebel TR, which is supposed to have a 7 liter naturally aspirated V8, making 520 horsepower and 575 pound feet of torque. If you haven't put two and two together, that 7 liters of displacement is roughly 426 cubic inches, aka a 426 Hemi. So we could see that engine there as well. So there have been lots of rumors over the past while, and it's looking good that we'll see the 426 Hemi, but I do want to have one look at it from the downside as well. 
The 392 Hemi right now makes 1.24 horsepower per cubic inch, so at this rate, the 426 Hemi would only make roughly 528 horsepower. So that's just a 43 horsepower jump from the 392, and things could get expensive if Chrysler has to develop this engine for road use, emissions, and adhere to other compliances. So this could mean a much higher price tag for not so much more horsepower than the current 392s. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Other than all that, there's nothing else to report. Make sure to stay tuned around October 30th, as I'll try to have the latest Mopar info available for you guys. And make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content. What do you think of all this? Are you excited for the 426 Hemi? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.